On Wednesday, 21st of February 2018, history was made in Lagos, Nigeria, when original African descendants gathered at Museum Center, kings and princes, scientists and technocrats to rub minds on origins, visions, and aspirations of the black race. In Conference on African Origins, New Scientific Evidence on Origins of Nigerian Peoples. Present, the Oni of Ife, His Imperial Majesty, Oba Enito Ogusi Ojaja II. The Atau Vigala, His Royal Majesty, Dr. Michael Amen Oboni. Jaja of Okubo, His Royal Majesty, King Dan Desin Douglas Jaja V. Other kings and their kingdoms were well represented by the king's men. Welcome to the Conference on African Origins. The Conference on African Origins is the beginning of an extensive public awareness program to enlighten and empower the black African race about its true genetic and cultural history. Professor Kwon Ndung, President, Genetics Society of Nigeria, opened with... Scientists have sequenced the oldest human DNA ever Ancestors of some pairs of present-day human populations were substantially separated by 100,000 years ago, well before the archaeologically attested onset of behavioral modernity. The study also demonstrated that indigenous Australians, the New Guineans, and the Andamanese do not derive substantial ancestry from an early dispersal of modern humans. Instead, their modern human ancestry is consistent with coming from the same source as that of other non-Africans. This is the metadata. 66 million years ago, a meteorite crashed into Earth, killing dinosaurs and most life, quickening the breakup of the supercontinent Pangaea. The new formation of continents with the Atlantic Ocean flowing between Africa and Europe on one side and the Americas on the other resulted in new wind systems that dumped the heaviest rains on the West African subregion, making it the most fertile area for evolution. With rivers Niger, Benue, Kaduna, Sakwato, and many others emptying their waters ultimately in southern Nigeria, creating the largest continental mangrove and freshwater swamps where man evolved. In a study of 3,945 DNA samples, differentiated with 1,327 genotype markers, 14 probable ancestral clusters were created, show 58 DNA. A close analysis shows that the DNA values fell as you moved away from Yoruba land in southern Nigeria. Over millions of years, Various humanoid species had spread from Africa across the world, as different new species set out to colonize the world, replacing previous migrants. From DNA evidence, the modern man evolved around 120,000 years ago as pygmies of southern Nigerian rainforests, the yam belt. Surviving by picking wild yams, the hunter-gatherers led human dispersal across Africa and Eurasia through the Ethiopia land bridge. Due to the Indonesian super-eruption around 75,000 years ago that blocked sun rays and killed previous migrants around 60,000 years ago, Simon's Genome Diversity Project stated that the sun pygmies diverged from Yorubas 87,000 years ago while Mbuti pygmies diverged about 56,000 years ago. Yoruba defines the L group. As new migrants from Yoruba land set out once again to colonize the world through Ethiopia into Arabia in what is known as the Great Coastal Migration, as Africans spread to create Sumna, Elam, IVC, and Southern China civilizations. The, the huge commonalities that we have in this area. And so we are therefore speaking of the Edo and the Efik, the Bibio, Idoma, Igaba, Ibo, Ijo, Isoko, Sekiri, Jukun, T, Rogo, Yoruba, and other groups within this um, area. Now, to understand this, I will 
go to our traditional way of looking at genetics. Um, and I'll, I'll, I'll use the Hebrew system because I'm, I'm fundamentally Hebrew speaking. And I will try from here to see how we can understand the knowledge system of the traditional society. Because if we can understand the knowledge system of the traditional society and be able to synthesize it in a sense, we'll then be able to make our fusion. And for this, we need about three native doctors called Dibia, Baba Lawo from the Yoruba. If you want to understand our traditional world, you must understand these doctors and the way they generated our society. Original Africans devised the first knowledge database wrongly equated as a religion, known as the African Information Retrieval System, IFA, IHA, AFA. It's based on a binary system divided into 16 divisions that would be further divided. Despite the later language divergence accentuated by foreign colonists in their ploy to divide and rule, African language and culture are basically the same. Prince Justice Faloye explained. You made a study called the Human Genome Project for 10, 15 years, headed by the Webster Collins. Now, when that study was going on, the Christian scientists all rose up and said the identity of the oldest DNA should not be released. And uh, when they finished that program, we found another project. We found um, Tony Blair and uh, Bush say that they should not release the DNA, what is the oldest DNA that will shape mainstream beliefs. We have 2,400 original African, which they call Niger Congo language. We have about 500 in Nigeria. And we realize that in Southern and Middle Belt, we are related. But look at it, there are only two groups in Africa. You have original Africans and you have Afro Asians. Afro Asians are those who have been mixed either in culture or in blood. Orni had this to say. It's about time us to unite and be one and speak with one voice, especially we, the Aborigines, we that we have a lot of similarity in our culture, in our heritage, and in our tradition. Let us put supremacy aside. We have common ancestral background. We have common ancestors. It is very evident. United we stand, divided we fall. This is the best thing that we're doing now to promote uh, culture, pro promote uh, homogeneity, to try as much as possible to say that we've come of age and that we can uh, do things for ourselves. So um, I'm happy to be here. I'm happy to be part of this uh, hip hop metal location. This conference is very, very better for the survivor of the black man. Chief Nia John Wodo, President Ohanese, the Apex Igbo Social Political Group. I know that in Ife there is a quarter which was inhabited by Igbos in pre colonial times, in medieval times. Why should they have such a relationship? Why should Igbos be indigenous in Ife, the cradle of Yoruba civilization? In Osuka, where I come from, we have a masquerade called Akatakwa. They have the same masquerade in the door. It's called Akatakwa. No yes. change of name. Now, the, the 
the salutation of the attire of the girl is aggravated. In Osuka, where I come, when our biggest masquerade comes out, it is called Agabite. <laughs> no what this goes to show is that we are the same people who moved to various lands in order to be attracted by either sea or pastures or agriculture or women or trade or whatever. But colonial rule has destroyed our rubric. Post-colonial military rule have colonized us and bastardized our origin. Pa Ayo Adebanjo, the veteran politician among the team that got Nigeria's independence. Let us understand our differences. So socially is understanding our differences. Understanding our differences will make us continue to live together. And we need to organize this uh, conference. I just want to say very briefly that we are witnessing the, be the true beginning of our history today. And we must push this forward and forward and forward. We must teach it to our children at home. We would see from the card we are integrated within the middle belt further. But we believe that we needed to come here and share with people of similar civilizations in the world. When I got this invitation, I was so amazed that something like this is going on in Nigeria a very fantastic idea for whoever brings on this idea. A darkened black man proud to be a black man. I am from the Middle Belt region of Nigeria and I strongly believe after hearing and listening to these excellent intellectuals that we share the same culture truly. I wrote a book recently and some of the pictures in the book which contain terracotta pictures are similar to some of the heads I see in the Ife civilization. And I feel Yorubaish, even though I am Ham. Alafia, Kabiesi, respect due. First of all, I have something to say. I am a representative of the disunity that has come as a result of us not seeing ourselves as one people. I am an African man born in America. I've come back because we study Ifa, we're studying Ifa with uh, the chief, and coming back to learn more about our culture. When I touched down, people said, oh my God, you're a Yoruba man, you're an Igbo man, you're a Nigerian man. I was born in San Diego, California. But what I'm saying to you is, it has happened before. Do you understand me? And it will happen again if we, do not come together. That's number one. Also, I am a college professor at Cal State University Dominguez Hills. This is rather ironic because I teach Africana Studies and I'm currently teaching on this issue. My name is Professor Jocelyn Fakwalade. Uh, I wanted to inquire about a couple of things with regards to this discussion. Sorry, can, can you come again with your name? Fakwalade. Uh, what? The others, our leaders, talk to your people that independence has come. We have now found ourselves. We are brothers. Igbo cannot find you by anymore. The Igala is a Yoruba, is an Igala. The Jaja of Obobo is a brother to the only of Ife. So why are three of you, or all of you, not combining together at 70% and rule Nigeria and preserve this culture for the Americans who want to see their homeland as this is where they are born and so that they can be respected in America? My leaders, this is my comment. Thank you, Justice Fallowing. Thank you very much. 
Following new scientific evidence presented by Prince Justice Faloye in his books and documentary, His Imperial Majesty, the Orni of Ife, Oba Adeyeye Ogunwusi or Jaja II, the Afeni Ferry, and other stakeholders supported the call for a conference and other means to present the information to the public. On further consultation, paramount rulers of all the major original African groups supported the idea of presenting and disseminating our true cultural origins and linkages. The support of the Genetic Society of Nigeria was sought to disseminate the latest genetic evidence and work towards providing a complete genetic map of Nigeria. There is a need to increase the collective intelligence of original and indigenous Africans with regard to their true origins and collective aspirations. Basically, there are only two main ethno-linguistic groups across Nigeria and Africa as a whole. Original Africans, referred to as the Niger-Congo linguistic family, who all originated from the same source, and Afro-Asians, who are products of various Asiatic cultural imperialism. Original Africans constitute a 70% majority of Nigerian and African populations. Yorubas and Igbos are the two largest original African groups in Africa, and they share the same cultural foundations with all other ethnic groups in southern and central Nigeria, as well as from the Gambia to South Africa. The articulation of the cultural identity and interrelationships of original Africans is necessary to improve cultural pride, work ethic, and the basis for political unity. For too long, original African economic and political progress have been arrested with divide and rule tactics. It is believed that before the black race can rise, original Africans at its core must unite on a common platform, achieved preferably through a think tank that will dictate public discourse and opinion, as well as public policy through direct means like conferences and symposia, as well as indirect means like sweepstakes and quizzes. A presentation of the tripartite collaboration of Adulawa Media, the House of Ududua, and the Genetic Society of Nigeria. The journey of discovery continues. African, know thyself. Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah!